Hi guys, it's Allison from Fathom 5 Tarot and I'm going to do Simon's hashtag of five favorites. Um, I've seen this floating around for a few days. It might be a couple weeks old. I haven't really been up to date on what everything that's going on, but I thought I'd play along uh, and that it would be super fun. Um, I actually didn't think I had something for every category, um, but I do sort of. Um, so it's sort of favorite Oracle deck, tarot deck, Lenormand deck, um, which I do have to, not cheat, but you'll see when I get there. No, no, no. Oh, playing card and then a, a wild thing, something else, which is good because I, some of these things are just, um, done because, uh, eh, <laughs> just because I only have one of them or not really anything. But anyway, what the heck? What the heck? Why not? Um, so I'll start with the Oracle, um, and uh, I did a little um, a sort of unboxing of this, um, the Dreamer's Journey Oracle by Allison Williams Yee, and it's from her Soul Trees collection. She has three beautiful decks, maybe more, but for sure three gorgeous decks, and I love trees. Um, and uh, not that this deck isn't particularly all tree-oriented, um, but it's a cool oracle deck because uh, I don't always love oracles. Um, but uh, it has a number of cards that follow the major arcana in the tarot. Oops. So there, for example, strength. And then it gives you a little message at the bottom. So that one's actually not tree focused. Um, and then it's got extra cards. I think there are 48 in total. Yes. No, 44. Sorry. Uh, 22 Major Arcana and then 22 others. So for example, this one isn't, it's just vulnerability. But look at that gorgeous tree art. And then a little message at the bottom. Uh, so uh, this is actually, it's out of the ordinary for me, both in terms of um, the, the fact that I don't often use oracles. And often too, I feel limited by keywords and specific messages but you know, sometimes sometimes you just want to read what other people say um it's uh oh it's beautiful the artwork is gorgeous we're getting a lot in a row here that aren't the major arcana let me see if i can find uh um oh so tower for example that one's cool eh um the star. So that's my favorite right now. Again, I, I don't really feel a lot of connection often to Oracle decks. I do have some that I do really love, um, but it's not really a focus of mine. But that's my Oracle choice. Um, Lenormand. So this is one where I have to cheat a little bit, and maybe I'll maybe I'll add an extra category. Not that really it's a cheat, um, but I only have one Lenormand deck, so it's going to be my favorite. And uh, it is the, oh my god, I just blanked on the name. Wouldn't you know it? Robert, Robert M. Place's Oracle, or Lenormand deck. Um, if you've watched this channel before, you know my love of Robert Place. There's actually two men and two women in the deck, uh, just facing opposite directions. But in a spread, I imagine that's... Um, you know, pretty cool. You could take one out. You could see what they're facing and what they're looking at. Um, I don't know anything about Lenormand and I bought this. Whenever I go to a bricks and mortar store that has things like these, especially if they're independent, I like to take that opportunity to buy things because um, I want to support bricks and mortar stores um, that sell cool things like this. So they had it. I love Robert Place. I bought it. I haven't really used it. Um, and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I don't really, I'm not really into Lenormand either necessarily, but I sure am into place and his work. Um, so one day maybe I'll give this away. One day I will maybe learn to use it. And maybe one day I will um, love it. Uh, I mean, I love the deck, but I don't know anything about the Lenormand system. Cardstock is great. It's got Hermes on the back. I think that's Hermes. I'm pretty sure. Um, Uh-oh. My cat is coming. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Here we go. 
This is, I better do this quickly. And get on the go. Oh, oh, I, I. Okay. That's Lenormand. Uh, so to make up for the fact that I had no Lenormand to choose except for the only one I owed. Oh, now my cat's dog. My dog's after my cat. Don't chase her around. Jeez. Um, I thought I'd do my favorite little tarot. Again, not a surprise for anyone who's watched this channel. Halloween tarot in a tin. I don't like little decks. I love this little deck. Uh, I also have the full-size Halloween. I'm only going to show a few of these because I'm going to do a whole Halloween thing, obviously, in a few months coming up. Um, but that's my favorite teeny tiny deck. So I'm lumping that in with Lenormand just because I didn't have a choice to make it. I do have a few small decks. Uh, Tarot of Trees almost made it in there because I'm loving that little deck right now. Um, I wish it was bigger. Uh, but there's something about the cuteness of this little guy. Uh, I just adore. So that's my little cheat. I crammed in little deck with Lenormand because I didn't have anything to choose for Lenormand. Uh, tarot deck. Naked heart. I can't even explain it. I mean, not that there's anything to explain. It's such a gorgeous deck. But I just, it's just such a love affair. And again, if I, oops. If I want to be really sincere, then I think I would have to choose a Smith weight. Um, I am successfully working on changing my vocabulary from Rider weight Smith to Smith weight. Um, I hope I don't trip it up because it's it's a habit that I'm trying to get into. Um, but then this is very Smith weight inspired, obviously. But there's just something about it that just rocks my world, especially when they're all out together in a spread. They're just so beautiful. They work well with everything. Um, I love it. Uh, so yeah, Naked Heart still. Um, again, I couldn't do Naked Heart without Smith Waite, um, but I just show that deck so much. And I have a few new Smith Waites to talk about too in another video. Just keep on adding. I'm like, I'm done. I don't need any more Smith weights. I got so many. It's ridiculous. And then I'm like, oh, but that version's slightly different. And then I go nuts. So, little Nike at heart. Uh, okay. And then finally, my other. Um, and I don't have a lot of other stuff. Oh, no. Sorry. One more thing. Playing cards. Again, this one, I didn't have a lot to choose from. Um. We have a lot of playing cards in my house because we play a lot of cards, but I don't collect them just to have them. I don't really make a lot of choices. Sometimes I just pick up a, a, a deck because it's cheap. Um, but this one actually is really pretty, and it was a toss-up. I have a Harry Potter deck that I got for my kid and that we play with a lot, but it's at our cottage. And then I have this sort of, um, it's not vintage, but it looks like the retro comic book drawings of Wonder Woman, and I love Wonder Woman. So that was close, but this is the coolest one um, that I thought people might enjoy looking at. Um, and actually, my daughter picked it out, and she loves it. Foragers playing cards. Uh, and it's about edible and inedible plants in nature, and I was kind of surprised. Not that, I mean, she loves to be outdoors. She's an outdoorsy kid, but she just, like, loves this deck of cards, and I do too. The jokers are beautiful. The backs are like this. Um, so yeah, we've got a little birdie, uh, then a snail. I know some people don't like snails, but I think they're adorable. And then on each card, you have, it's quite a busy card. You have a little picture of what it is, the walnut, and then ratings about their ed edibility, their findability, their recognizability, and their seasonal qualities. Um, and then a, a category, so nuts and seeds. So I don't, I mean, on the one hand, they say, oh, this is how you'll learn, is by playing cards and I don't know like in my standard game of gin rummy I couldn't read all this it'd take forever but boy are they ever adorable I really like them um and it takes up the entire card so you don't have a representation of the number of hearts or anything oops sorry <laughs> so um and then let me get they're they're actually still in order because we just got them but don't eat holly, guys. <laughs> um, oh, and then little, like, um, mushrooms. This one's called an Amethyst Deceiver. <laughs> Just a really cool little card deck. So, 
How much we'll learn about forging, I do not know. We'll play a lot of cards with it, that's for sure. A lot of cribbage. Um, and then, yeah. So that's my playing card deck. And then uh, my last one. It's just this groovy little deck um, I found in Salem that I'm going to talk about that this weekend sometime, my trip to Salem. They're making magic cards. Um, it's just a tiny little deck. Uh, like that's my hand. So like if I were to hold up a playing card, it'd be like that. So playing cards are a little bit wider. These are a little bit whoa, longer. Um, they're just really cute little like sigils. Um, so I thought maybe they'd be good for meditation or putting out before I do a tarot spread to think about making true wisdom, good choices. Um, I'm not a good visual artist, but I thought maybe I could copy these, um, and you know, put them in my journal or something as a meditation or a writing prompt or, um, they're really nice thick cardstock. They're sh quite shiny, as you can see. Um, I'm going to edge them right now. They're white, but uh, I don't know. I just thought they were kind of groovy. They were not very expensive. They're very small. Um, I wasn't looking to do a ton of shopping when I visited Salem, but I thought it would be a neat little memento of my time there and something special. Um, and I don't know. I just think they're kind of cool. Those are the backs. Um, I just like the look of them and I thought they were super fun. So that's my other. So I did sort of cheat and sneak in my beloved Halloween tarot in there. Um, cause I didn't feel like I, and I didn't have anything else to choose for my other. Like, I can't think of anything. Um, like I, I don't know. No, no, got nothing. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of choices to make for Lenormand playing card and other, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and it was fun to make a video and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.